Hello everyone, it's Maria and I know it's not the end of the month yet but I'm going to be quite busy for the next couple of days so I wasn't sure if, if I was going to have time to, to do my look back video so here it is so in no particular order this is actually the last um, layout that I finished yesterday last night and it was uh, for in Mind the Scrap they're doing this week it's a challenge for scrap lifting other people that have participated in the previous weeks uh, unfortunately I didn't participate in any of the previous weeks so um, I've just joined uh, this week and uh, uh, this was a scrap lifter of Laura Ramble um, um, yes so yeah uh, um, because I was scrap lifting sorry because I was scrapbooking a photo of Gmail I thought I had to use <laughs> Gmail's uh, collection to, so yeah this is one another scrap lift this one uh, from another lady from another group uh, also um, what originally caught my eye from her layout was uh, she had a very similar heart like that so uh, that was my starting point knowing that I wanted to use that heart and then from there I went uh, with uh, this is from the London collection by Felicity Jane and um, I really love uh, this green and blues uh, how they work together with the black and white so yeah very very happy with uh, this layout another layout uh, that I scrap lifted from on for the mind the scrap challenge uh, this one I stamped, I took out all my stamps, or most of them, pretty much all of them and I just um, did like a little circle line here, imaginary, I didn't actually draw it because I didn't really want to have to be erasing afterwards <clears throat> and I stamped directly on, onto the the white cardstock uh, so yeah, I'm super happy with uh, how this uh, looks I also used my, oh, hello Peppa, my Bramble Bramble Fox is it? Bramble? Yeah, Bramble Fox. Um, these perspectives, I think they're called, and they're like super thick. I don't know if you can differentiate the thickness there. And um, very shiny. They're actually super lovely. And I got them on my, my last uh, Lottie Loves Paper um, kit. I haven't, unfortunately, I haven't been able to buy the the last one, the August one. I wasn't able to, but uh, yeah, I got that one for the in the July kit, I suppose it was. And I also got this lovely enamel uh, shapes that really, really match that color in the perspex, pers oh, perspective. Is it? I don't know what's the word. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, so. Let's continue. This layout I made for the ABC challenge on For the Love of Pretty Paper and this was a very special challenge because you had to include uh, 13 items for all the, all the 13 items that we had done so far and I've got them written down here, let me read. It's got buttons, so it's got that button. There was another button there but I removed it. Red, so there's red in the apple and red in there. Uh, Tags. So there's a tag here which has got a, a bit of uh, journaling. Uh, food on the apple, material on the twine, journey. The the uh, journaling uh, tells the uh, a piece of journey in my life. Diagonal. I did this uh, these um, squares. I folded on the diagonal. Uh, wood. It's got that little button there. Wood. Gold. There's gold in the alphas, in that little um, enamel shape, and also in the twine there's gold. Numbers, the, the date is in numbers. Languages, the title is in Spanish. Squares, obviously, and craft, the, the photo is mounted in craft uh, cardstock. So yeah, very, very happy with uh, how that came out. When we originally thought of the... Um, of the challenge I was like oh my god this is gonna be such a busy layout if you have to introduce so many elements but as you can see it's not busy at all there's been all the ladies on for the love of pretty paper group that have also uh, made this uh, layout with the challenge of 13 items and their layouts are also super clean and simple and really gorgeous so it can be done so so you know 
Okay, another layout. This was also for, excuse me, for the love of pretty paper for the uh, K is for craft ABC challenge. Um, and I really loved um, doing this layout. The cardstock is uh, it's got um, what's the word uh, texture. That's it. And I painted with um, white uh, paint, and uh, it looks fantastic. I've got a process video for this uh, layout if if you want to have a look. Okay, another layout. I made this one at uh, the crop uh, a few weeks back. Uh, very very quick and simple. I used uh, papers from um, the. Delightful, I think it's called by Pebbles Collection, and the uh, embellishments are from uh, B -B -B Coco Vanilla Studio. And I kept it very simple um, because I think it was my last layout of the day at the crop, and I didn't have much time for anything complicated. So, yeah, that's it. Okay, next one. This layout I made for a mini challenge on the Mercy Tiara group. There was a sketch uh, and I followed the sketch pretty much uh, very, very accurately um, and I used Coco Vanilla Studio U Rock collection. Okay, this one I also made at the crop. Uh, I did the, I fussy cut all these flowers. The flowers are from, uh, let me think, I think it's a Kaiser Craft collection and um, I didn't have, I, I was looking for um, black and white uh, floral paper to fussy cut but I I, have, I didn't have any and I asked around and nobody had any so I went to, at the crop they have um, a mini shop um, a pop-up shop and, uh, and I bought uh, this paper I'm so happy how it turned out and that, that mini cluster there is so gorgeous I really really love it so yeah another one from the crop this one I'm not so keen on it looks a bit too busy to be honest uh, but it was for I made it for the um, for the love of pretty paper for the S is for squares ABC challenge, and I was copying uh, another layout from another lady in the group, but her layout she she managed she because I've got I've left a, a gap in between the squares, but she put them all together and then she stitched all the edges. But I don't have a, 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 a sewing machine, so I wasn't going to do that, and I wasn't going to do it by hand. That's a lot of stitching. So, uh, so yeah, I left it like this and then I got a bit confused. I was going to do my journaling on this. No, actually, I was going to do the journaling on this uh, square because it's, it's a very easy pattern to write on. But I got confused. I put the title there and then, then I thought, OK, I'll put the <laughs> journaling on this one. But I got very confused and I did the, this cluster of embellishments there, and, which meant I only had these ones basically to do the... Um, the journaling but they were too busy so I went for that one and I'm not too keen um, but I'll live with it uh, yeah what can we do okay next one is also for the S is for squares ABC challenge on for the love of pretty paper I've got a process video for this one as well if you want to go and have a look I use Coco Vanilla Studio um, oh my god I'm so rubbish remembering collection names uh, wild at heart that would say wild at heart and uh, yeah very very happy I really love this uh, wood uh, paper in the background it's just really lovely okay the next one I've just realized I can't show you where is it there yeah I can't show you that because it's for my uh, next month uh, for the love for no uh, for, um, UK scrap addicts so next this one is another ABC challenge on For the Love of Pretty Paper and it was for L, L is for languages and my layout is about um, when I came to the UK to learn English this photo is from my third year here and that's me there in the photo and um, yeah so because the, the, it was about languages you could use either words in a, in a foreign language or you could it was all like uh, maybe some people I think interpreted as uh, how kids learn to talk and how they acquire language so the first words and things like that so yeah very, very open not not too difficult okay another one this one I made for uh, the silhouette silhouette blog um, I used uh, this uh, pattern you can buy the, the the patterns on the silhouette store and print them and then print and cut 
so yeah i was quite happy with how, how this um layout turned out i really love these papers from this collection i can't remember right now i'll, I'll put it in the in the subtitles later <laughs> okay another one this one i made for the mercy tiara uh main challenge for this month it was set by one of uh, my friends and uh Oh, let me think if see if I can remember. Maybe I wrote it down. So I think you had to. Uh, did I write it down? I mm, 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 mm. uh, didn't. No, I haven't got it. But yeah, I think you had. You couldn't use alpha stickers. So I cut the title with my silhouette, and then I did that. You had to use frames, so I used the frame. You had to have some sort of, um, uh, what's the word? Um, grid, that's it. You had to have a grid pattern. So that's why I've got these two squares here and there with that. What else? A silhouette, you had to use a silhouette. So that's why I did the silhouette in the stars and also that. And what else? I can't remember, but yeah, that was mainly it. Oh, and stitching. I think I did stitching as well. Was there? Oh, I can't remember. Sorry, it's been quite a while now. <laughs> okay, next layout. This one is a scrap lift from a layout I saw on um, Pinterest. And I really, really loved it. And I knew I had to copy it. So here it is. Um, it's a uh, Coco Vanilla Studio again. Your rock collection is so beautiful. I really love this collection. I'm going to be so sad the day that I run out. Um, you know what, I'll buy another one. <laughs> so yeah. Okay, another one. This one I made for the UK Scrap Addict. Uh, it was a Grab 5 challenge. I can't remember now if I've shown you this one already. But there is a process video. You can find the process video on the UK Scrap Addict. And then, um, uh, let me think. If, if, see, I can remember. We had to use embossing, which I did embossing here. We used to have a long title, which I did. Numbers. We also had to do a de, 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 bu, bu, bu. what was it? Oh, I can't remember. So to do long title embossing numbers. Oh yeah, half a half a sheet of uh, used um, sorry half used sheet of embellishments of stickers, which I took to do this and this, and I can't remember what the fifth one was. Sorry. But yeah, I've got a bit of journaling there hidden and I've got that journaling there. So yeah, another layout I made. This one was for uh, stack, stack sketches. Oh, goodness. <laughs> and this layout, I really love. It was based on the stack sketches. Um, was it stacks? Yeah, yeah, it was. Uh, on that, um, because they released sketches every two weeks so this one for the beginning of the month and um, the funny thing about this layout is I can't remember for the life of me what the date of these uh, these folders are um, when I was creating this layout uh, my my husband was really 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 busy with work so I tried asking him a couple of times to go and check to see if he had uh, like uh, the booking confirmation on his email so when he booked this um, the horse riding activity or something like that but he was so busy and he was so like fast about every time I talked to him <laughs> that I didn't want to bother him anymore so yeah but yeah at some point I will find out the date and I will add it there under the Lindhurst uh, yeah. okay another layout this one I made for what did I make this for oh yeah for the love of pretty paper again the challenge was to use numbers so I used this paper with numbers and I used all these numbers and yeah and this is going to go into my book of me um, album and I love it I've done top 10 favorite albums and now I've already made the list to do my top 10 movies and my top 10 TV shows and um, but yeah at some point no rush <laughs> okay another layout i did want this one for the uh stick it down blog and uh, there is a process video for this one if you want to go and have a look and yeah very 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 happy i i love this uh wonder uh, uh thicker it's so shimmery oh i love it and the color is just gorgeous so yeah and next one 
Okay, this one I made for for the love of pretty paper for the main August challenge, which was to um, make a layout with the seaside theme, but there were also other items that you had to inco incorporate. So you had to have yellow, which I did yellow on the, I painted the, the alphas with uh, some yellow watercolor. I don't know if you can see that. What else were the elements? Stamping, yeah, and I stamped the date. Circular, that you had to have a circular uh, item, which was the that. Hang on, let, did I write it down? I don't know if I did. Uh, yes, there we go. Washi tape, which I used that turquoisey one there. Um, stamping, yellow, circular, and stickers. So yeah, I've got all the elements there. And I'm very, 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 very happy with this layout. It's so gorgeous. And uh, I'm so happy to be able to print on A4 at home. Um, yeah. Okay, next one. This one I made for uh, UK Scrap Addicts, my main uh, layout for August. And I have got a process video on the UK Scrap Addicts blog if you want to have a look. And it, they, this was all about clustering, and uh, I've got two two clusters there. And then um, for this layout, I made a point of uh, not using many, if any, uh, store bought uh, embellishments. So what I did was I hand cut all these elements from the from the pattern paper. So very happy with how this layout came up, came about, and uh, so happy with how everything matches with the photo. Okay, and the last one that I'm going to show you today, this one I made for, goodness, hang on, let me think, oh, let me, do, 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 okay, this was for, I didn't write it down, did I, oh yes, there we go, so it was a collaboration with a lady called Janice Lewis, and she for her blog she wanted people to make uh, for this week <clears throat> um uh, uh layouts about school and the theme was school zone so i thought scrubbing this uh um layout sorry this photo about my kids graduation from preschool uh, would be ideal and uh, i've got a process video for this if you want to go and have a look and that's it for now i've got a feeling i will be making maybe one or two more layouts this uh week before the end of the month but i will show you next next month and my next next month's video in the meantime thank you very much for joining me if you have any questions please do let me know underneath in the comments um, and i'll see you again very soon bye